You're listening to Texas Top Homes. I'm your host, Tracy Wiesman. With me is my co-host, Joe Healy. Today, we're visiting with one of Texas Top Realtors, Carissa James with RJ Williams & Company. Carissa, thanks for being on the show today. Thank you for having me. How do you help a seller choose the right offer to accept? What I like to do is sit my seller down face-to-face and go over the pros and cons of each and every offer that comes in. Um, sure. You know, someone might want something some, like 2000 in home warranty or special uh, special revisions, um, mm-hmm. and one might not want that. So who are we going to choose? The one sure. that might not want some things. And, you know, it depends. You, you can always negotiate between who's, you know, title and survey who who gets to pay for that Mm -hmm. um so you know the less my seller has to do or come out of pocket obviously those are the better choices but you have to you know like you said um you have to call their lenders vet them you know and of course no one's as good as joe but um (laughs) but that it helps certainly appreciate that plug (laughs) (laughs) so i'm curious carissa if you are working with a seller and let's say 10 offers come in on the house and you look at the offers and two of them, you know, are just not good. Are you just going to kind of throw those away or are you going to show your seller every offer? Oh, absolutely not. I show every every offer that comes through, um, whether I think it's <laughs> worth it or not. Sure. Um, but it's a it's a learning process. You right. know, you it, while they're selling, they could be buying right after. So it's kind of you have to get in the mindset of both. Sure. Um, but everything goes to the seller. They have to be able to make the decision themselves, you know, whether it be whether they want to get out real quick and they just want maybe the cash deal, which isn't as much as their FHA or conventional deal being uh, offered. Mm -hmm. um, But it's up to them at the end of the day. So So what you're saying is when you you look at the offers with your sellers, it's not just the dollar amount that matters. You have to look at the time to close and every seller has a different timeline. Some of them may need to close quickly. Some may need to close a little bit later. Mm -hmm. Um, I know there's a term we've heard here from other agents that maybe you've heard and can explain a little bit. Let's say you have a seller who's selling their home, but they need to stay in their home because their new one isn't quite ready yet, so they do what's called a lease back. Mm -hmm. Is that something you've heard of? Yes. Okay, what is a lease back? A lease back is when a a seller is selling a home. Uh, we've we've accepted an offer and everything, but we need my seller needs maybe another month to be in the home and get everything out. Sure. So along with you know the contract, we will add the lease back addendum and just say, hey, uh, seller is going to be in the home for another month, and then of course the buyer needs to be okay with that. And if it's not okay, then it doesn't happen. But mm-hmm. um, that's how that works. Every, all parties have to agree on it, too. And they agree, and that way they close, so the new owners take ownership, but the, the people who are selling the home get to stay there and wrap up whatever they need to. Maybe they're waiting for their new construction to get done or whatever the, exactly. the case may be. Exactly. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's a great strategy. I like that. Carissa, if somebody wants to find you to either list or buy a house, how can they find you? What's your website and phone number? It's carissa.rjwilliamsco.com. Phone number is 214 Five seven seven zero four five eight.